Guys, if you've ever found yourself bouncing between ChatGPT, Google Docs, and a dozen other tabs, you know how inefficient that can be. But this tool might be exactly what you've been waiting for to streamline your project workflow. I'm Daniel, and today I want to show you something that's actually changing the way we work with AI. It's called Hatch, and it's not just another chatbot or design tool, folks. It's a whole new kind of user interface for AI. One that actually fits how we think, visually, collaboratively, and across ideas that evolve in real time. I'll walk you through what Hatch is, how it works, and why I think it's one of the most exciting tools out right now. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. Folks, let's be honest, AI is already a part of our lives. You're probably using ChatGPT or Gemini for writing, maybe Midjourney for images and Figma for design. But here's the catch. You're constantly switching between tools, copying results from one, pasting into another, trying to make all the pieces fit. As a result, folks, your workspace ends up feeling like a puzzle, with different pieces scattered across different rooms. Even if you stick to just one chatbot, you're still limited by the stream. You scroll up and down trying to find that one great idea from earlier, but there's no structure, no clarity. And that's where Hatch flips the script, my friends. So guys, Hatch is a canvas-first AI tool. It's not just a chatbot or a whiteboard, it's a living workspace. Imagine chatting with AI like you would in ChatGPT. But instead of everything staying trapped in a scroll, you can pull out ideas, text snippets and images onto a flexible, infinite canvas. And folks, that means you can move things around, connect them visually, build layouts, and refine your ideas. And you can do all of that while continuing the conversation with artificial intelligence in real time. And the best part, guys, is that Hatch actually understands what's on the canvas. It uses your layout, text, and components as live context, so your AI assistant evolves with your thinking. You're not just feeding prompts, you're building a creative process together, my friends. All right, guys, let me show you how Hatch actually works in real time. We're starting off with something simple, a landing page for a freelancer time tracking app. So I typed in the prompt. That's it. Just one message. And now watch what Hatch does with it. In just a few seconds, it built the whole thing. We've got a title, three clean feature blocks, a hero layout idea, and even some visual direction. Everything shows up directly on the canvas, fully organized. Folks, I didn't have to drag or copy anything manually. What I love is how smooth this feels. There's no back and forth. Hatch immediately gives you a foundation you can build on. Let's say I want the headline to sound more fun, something that really speaks to freelancers in a casual, friendly tone. I'll just ask Hatch to rewrite it. I enter the prompt, and just like that, I get a few great options. And look, guys, new versions appear right here on the canvas automatically. Now let's work on the visual direction a bit. Maybe I want to explore a few different styles for the hero section. For example, something minimalist, techy, and a little playful and bold. So I type in a prompt. And look at this, folks. Hatch instantly gives me three variations. Each one comes with layout suggestions, design elements, and notes on how it could look. I can cluster each style into its own group on the canvas, compare them visually, or even build mood boards around them. This part makes it feel like I'm working in Figma, but with AI constantly helping shape the direction. All right, my friends, visuals are cool. But what about actual page structure? I want to expand this landing with key sections like testimonials, pricing, and an FAQ. So I asked to suggest a full content layout. Hatch lays out a full flow, section by section. I can map everything visually and start designing each part separately. It's almost like having a UX strategist working right on your whiteboard with you. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Guys, one of the best parts about Hatch is that it remembers everything you've added. So now that I've got my landing page set up, I want to generate a short email I can send to early access users. And folks, Hatch just nails it. It pulls from the canvas and drafts something that actually feels on brand. This isn't just AI answering random prompts. It's co-creating with you, using everything on the board as living context. Now imagine doing this with a team. I can invite a teammate, and we're both editing, commenting, and prompting live. No lag, no confusion. It's like Google Docs and Figma had an AI-powered baby, my friends. Once everything's ready and I want to share this project with someone, publishing it is super simple. I just click on the canvas, 
or the specific section I want to share, then hit the public link button up here in the toolbar. Catch instantly creates a live link that anyone can view. No need to export to PDF, no need to build a separate presentation, it's already web ready. So guys, whether I'm sending this to a client for feedback, dropping it into an investor deck or just sharing with the team, this link keeps everything exactly as it looks here, live on the canvas. So yeah, this is Hatch, a full creative workspace where AI doesn't just respond, it builds with you. From headlines to layout to components, you're building it all in one continuous space. Ok guys, if you're part of a small team, this is especially powerful. Designers can brainstorm layouts visually while refining copy. Project managers can plan out roadmaps with live input. Freelancers can go from idea to mock-up to client ready pitch, all in one tool. Folks, even developers can use it to prototype React components or build simple tools right on the canvas. Honestly, if your work involves thinking through ideas, Hatch gives you the space and tools to do that better. To wrap this up, my friends, Hatch isn't just another bot or plugin. It's a new kind of workspace, one that finally matches how we actually think – visual, interconnected and collaborative. And for anyone building content, running projects or developing ideas in a small team, it's a total game-changer, folks. You can check it out now and let me know in the comments what kind of project you'd use Hatch for. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like or subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.